G'day, g'day, comrade subscribers. So, let's continue on with the Tesla. So, um, where we got to last time was the, on the, so this is the power supply. The X2 safety capacitor uh, blew up, <laughs> as you can see here. And actually, it's, I think it's a combined X2, um, or combined X and Y class. So, I think the X2 is across the phases, and then the Y is between the phases and ground or earth so normally there's like a third y here that would go to earth but they've cut that off and they're just using it purely as an x2 or as a class x uh, safety capacitor so it blew and i'm assuming it when it blew it blew closed because if it blows closed then obviously we have a short between the phases which then would blow the fuse so <laughs> Looks like I need another fuse as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I might have to pop out to get one of those. Anyway, so I had I got these uh, from France. So same same type, Miflex, Miflex. So, but these are Class X only. So there is no third Y here for um, combined X Y. So that should just go straight onto there, and I guess solder in wherever this one was i can't remember i'm guessing anyway i'll figure it out i need to see if i've got a fuse as well uh, so yeah you know you can use the power supply without the safety capacitor uh, it'll still work um, but it's obviously there for a reason so that's why i've waited till i got some replacements um, yeah so i'll sort that out and then um, we'll try and get some video out of this uh, machine. Okay, there we go. Pretty sure that's how it went. So we've got one connected to the fuse and then the other connected to the switch slash one of the phases, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so it's asking for a 2.5 amp. I've got one amp or I've got 3.15 amps. Three amps is close enough. Um, where'd I put them? Yeah, all right, so I'll put that in. Oh, here we go. So, power supply is ready, so I can put it back in. And uh, we can, I'll relocate the, um, that goes in there. Good enough. Right. So, uh, yeah, sort that out. Let's have a look at the machine. Okay, so I think the mistake I made last time was putting the electrolytic across the signal and ground. Duh. It needs to go in series with the signal. So I guess to block out any, any DC that uh, modern displays don't like. So I'll remove that. And see what happens I guess um, yeah all right we'll see what all happens right. so I've got the what are we doing here composite we're just trying to get composite yeah because it's an eight yeah we don't have color on this one I don't think so we're just trying to get the composite signal here so we've got the composite it's not composite uh, color is composite is color <laughs> we just got the video signal <laughs> We've got the video signal coming into the uh, capacitor and then we've got it connected to the pin out there. So kind of like what you do, what you can do on the ZX Spectrum to, um, to get video out. So the idea is that the capacitor blocks any DC on the signal that um, modern TVs don't like. So now I've got to remember a DIN cable. I've got so many DIN cables. All right. Let me try and put this all back together. So, yeah, so this is basically the machine. This is the expansion part here. As you can see, we've got um, eight two five fives, and the basic ROM cartridge slots in up here, and the keyboard connects into there. So, yeah, I need to, I need to kind of put everything back together to get basic in there. But does it need basic, or does it boot into a monitor if basic's not there? I might try it without. I might just try booting it to see what it does. Right, we're all set up. Got the new power supply, blue LED, and we have, I found the cable. 
So this is just comp oh, composite. It's not. It's black and white. It's just baseband video. Ah, I've been fiddling around too long. Turn the screen back on. Turn the screen back on. Okay. So I just want to see what happens when we boot. All right, and power on. Hey! <laughs> oh! -ho! All right. Okay, now this computer's bloody working. That's good. Okay, so um, obviously I don't have basic connected. I don't have a keyboard connected, but we are getting something. It's not terribly good, but it's better than nothing. So, yeah, so I have to check. can't remember who gave me the tip. to. Um, I'll check the comments from the last video. To, oh no, I think it was probably the video before. Um, yeah, so obviously we're cutting out the DC. So now that's working. Lots of jail bars, so it's not ideal. But it is an 8080 based machine. So yeah, we've just got garbage. You can see it's just going off the edge still. So I might hook up my, um, my Sony DVD recorder. And put the uh, use that kind of filter, maybe. Let me just put this. Yeah, back. I might see if I can run this into my Sony DVD recorder just to see if I can use that to you know kind of filter the signal. Because when I've tried putting this straight into my Elgato USB capture, uh, well, usually it it doesn't like it. But maybe if I stick it into my Sony DVD recorder and then capture it back out again, maybe that. Well, maybe I can capture it that way rather than just filming the screen. But next, um, let's put it all back together and see if we can get into basic. So getting there. So main machine's all back together. Um, looks like I'm missing rubber feet, so I might put some rubber feet on. Uh, but yeah, so this is the model we've got. That's, I guess, where it <laughs> came from, perhaps. Pretty light actually, it's, pr it's quite a light machine. Okay, and this is basic, basic ROM. So someone has designed like a mega ROM or whatever. Uh, and I'm trying to redesign it actually because I think the only thing, place I could find it on was on archive. So it's kind of almost lost to time. Now is that going to plug in? Because there is a trick there, there is a screw there. Is that sticking out? Maybe it's not sticking out far enough to plug in. I think it has to stick out a bit further. All right, I might have to do some further work. Uh, hmm. So that's that's how it works. And then it's got to go through there. And then you screw that to keep it in place. So that's as much as it's sticking out. Maybe this one needs to stick out more. Maybe that's the problem. Hmm. All right, I'll keep working on this. Okay, maybe that is maybe that is enough. I'm not going to put the rest of the case back together. Just want to see if it's going to well, if it's going to boot into basic and if the keyboard's going to work. Let's try that out. I did try the Sony hard drive recorder, but didn't look like it could pick it up. So I hooked it up to the Elgato and it did seem like the Elgato captured something. So we'll try that now. Let me see, uh, composite, mute sound. All right, start recording. Okay, let's power it on. <laughs> okay, it's a pretty terrible image. All right, so we're still getting the same thing. 
So there is, I think actually I remember seeing this now. So let's have a closer look. There is a little speaker attached to the keyboard. So uh, we've got power there. And then we've got that little lights flashing. And, and there's a little, dit 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 dit. let me just uh, put the microphone closer. So it's coming from somewhere there. I think we had this before, so if I press stop, so I think we'll reset. So there was some issue. I need to check check my comments. So I was fiddling around. I was fiddling around before, and I did get it to. say um, OS ready so don't know okay that was different but normal characters aren't doing anything end of line no command I like how there's two end of lines. Shift reset. Oh, oh, it's ready. All right, that's different. End of line. <laughs> Is that... All right, no idea what I'm doing here. All right, so I've still got that. So there is some problem, okay, bros, okay. So that's obviously, so shift reset, does a reset and it says OS ready. And then we get this issue with this kind of, yeah, obviously it was also doing it before the keyboard was even connected. So I don't know, so I need to look at it. Um, 8080 systems, do they have a separate keyboard, keyboard encoder chip? Um, just wondering if there was, you know, because like when they release the chip, they have all the uh, associated uh, support chips for it. So I don't know if there's a keyboard one. Um, but there we are. <laughs> so the keyboard is. All right, I'm getting a red LED now. Shift reset. OS ready. And then we're getting this garbage input again. Got to be there. All right. Okay. So okay. So power supply is working. Machines booted, but there's still an issue. So making progress. Making progress. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get it fixed next time. Bye for now.